Let's pray together. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence at this gathering. We thank you for blessing this marriage. Even now, Lord, we call out for Michael and Paige for your peace to be upon them and that you would bless every part of this worship service today and that you would just bless their marriage completely, O oh God, and help them treasure these moments together. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Will you keep him in sickness and health and remain faithful to him all your life? If so, will you answer, I will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. And since it's uh, your desire to take each other as husband and wife, would you now join your hands and uh, recite the marriage vows that you have written? First off, I want to start by saying you look absolutely beautiful. I love you dearly for all that you are, and words can't describe the amount of joy that you bring to my life. Your gentle heart and caring nature are some of your greatest attributes. It's those same characteristics that make you an amazing mother and soon to be the greatest wife. Today, I vow to be your partner in life for life. With this ring, I promise that you will never have to face this world alone, and I will always fight for you, pursue you, and love you wholeheartedly and unconditionally for the rest of my life. I love you, and I couldn't be more excited to be marrying you today. There are so many things that I want to say to you, but if I stood here and told you all the reasons that made me fall in love with you, we'd be here for days. I've always appreciated how patient you are with me, you have proven that you will love me through anything. Seeing how Violet absolutely adores you and feels so safe in your arms melts my heart every day. I feel so blessed to be able to wake up to both of you for the rest of my life. Lastly, I commend you for always making me feel safe in every way possible. Thank you for never raising your voice at me, for never making me feel less than, and always encouraging me to be the best version of myself, but also understanding that that doesn't always come easy. Michael, today and every day I vow to choose you. I vow to never go to bed angry and always hear you out when we have our differences. I promise to always say I love you and mean it with my whole heart. 
To continue our journey as husband and wife is such an incredible blessing, and I look forward to growing our relationship with God together along the way and understanding more his role in our marriage as well as us as individuals. You mean everything to me, and I will spend every day for the rest of my life showing you that you have my heart and soul forever. What token do you present that you'll keep this covenant and these vows that you've willingly made to each other? The rings. The rings. Paige, I give you this ring. Paige, I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token for my love for you. Let it be a constant reminder. Let it be a constant reminder. That I love and cherish you. That I love and cherish you. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. And whatever you do. And whatever you do. Michael, I give you this ring. Michael, I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. Let it be a constant reminder. Let it be a constant reminder. That I love and cherish you. That I love and cherish you. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. And whatever you do. And whatever you do. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you may kiss your wife. And Christ has now joined them in marriage. What they're about to do, if you turn your attention to your right, is a sand ceremony, which is symbolic of what God has just done. There are actually three things of sand. And as they pour their lives in, the individual grains of sand can no longer be separated into their individual containers. And so their lives are forever intertwined with Christ Jesus. It's now my privilege to present to everyone today, Mr. and Mrs. Michael, and Paige Boyle. to thank you all for being here today to celebrate Paige and Michael. As most of you know, I'm Paige's sister, and even though she's my younger sister, she's taught me a lot in life. Paige and Michael went to school together, so I didn't know him back then, but I knew he was a good one when I met him, 
because of the way he cares for my sister and the kindness that he showed my crazy dog. I'm glad my sister found her soulmate and I hope they have a long, happy life together. And I'd like to invite everyone to raise their glasses to the new Mr. and Mrs. Boyle. Good evening, everyone. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Kevin. I have the immense honor of being Michael's best man. Michael and I have been through thick and thin together from our treehouse adventures as kids navigating the up and downs of adult life. When Michael and Pe Paige met, everything changed. Every time he mentioned Paige, he'd get all giggly like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> they share a bond that's undeniable, and more importantly, they share a beautiful and smart baby girl, Violet. Paige, you're not only getting a husband today, you're gaining the most amazing partner. Michael lights up when he talks about you, and it's clear that you two are meant to be together. So to Michael and Paige, may your journey together be filled with laughter, joy, love, and countless beautiful moments. May your love continue, grow longer, and with each passing day. Cheers. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you each and every one of you for being here tonight. We love every one of you, and um, I think just about every single one of you, we all share some sort of memory together. Um, small, big, whatever it is, many, small, or little, few, lesser, whatever that word is. Um, and uh, it just goes without saying that you're all very, very important to us. And thank you so much for being here. If I could find the assurance to leave you behind, I know my better half would be. And all my doubt is a staircase for you, up and out of the space. The first step is the one you believe in. Second one might be profound Somebody. 